What's going on, y'all? I, uh, kind of finishing up a little project here on the greenhouse, and I thought I'd go ahead and walk you guys through some of the things that we've done to make our uh, yardage greenhouse um, as perfect as we could do it. So let's go ahead and go over some of the things here. That looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the first thing. So the yardage tree, when you put it up, it comes with the storm spring and it actually wants you to mount it just using a basic screw right here. Problem is, is we had a good windstorm coming through and it actually ended up pulling this so hard, it split the wood and pulled the screw out. Right there. So what we're gonna do, or what I did, I reinforced it using a aluminum bracket, using an eye bolt and um, just a chain adapter here, which gives it enough space to go ahead and do what it needs to do. Hopefully enough strength to where the uh, wind won't just pull the screw out and bust the trim again. All right, let's go over a few other things that we've done in the screen house. So as I alluded to in another short video of mine, we did go ahead and build out the a um, small garden up against the wall back here. We used um, simple plywood to build it, screwed it straight into the cedar supports, and then hung up um, two liter bottles for us to go ahead and use as planters for single plants. So broccoli, spinach, and a bouquet of flowers, some romaine lettuce. Um, and this gave us a lot of space just to grow more veggies than what we would normally have um, in this greenhouse. It did come with hanging holes and hooks, um, which those are very strong, no problems there. Um, we went ahead and we hung up strawberries on two of the hooks. Actually, I'm sorry, three of the hooks and left the other hooks off just so we have better navigation throughout the greenhouse. We're using the top shelf here just to kind of start growing some herbs. We have great sun coming through. The herbs do, do fairly well. It's still early in March, so I don't expect perfect greenery right now. We have a small section here dedicated to just germinating our seeds. And then we're doing all the pot planting along on the shelf here, as well as on the floor down here. Um, let's talk a couple of things that we had to do in here to kind of improve some stuff. One, there's no mention in the instruction manual about how to face the greenhouse. And if you're not careful and this window is open, a strong wind will just pull that window and flop it right up and break the hinge. So we've already had to replace this automatic hinge right here. And then to help prevent that from happening again, I went ahead and I attached the chain just so it can overextend and bend that hinge as well. For light, um, we do have to light string here, but honestly, we don't even use it. Um, if we do come out here at night, we just have a simple um, lamp going just to provide us some light. Uh, ventilation, of course, we have the window up here. And of course, we have to vent open down there. Um, we will install a misting system in here. Um, Texas heat is brutal. This greenhouse is gonna get massively hot if we don't have something in place to cool it down. That's what the misting system will be for. And uh, I'll do a follow-up with the video when we actually go ahead and install that. Plan on doing solar and stuff with it. A couple other improvements. <sighs> Another project when we moved into the house was just to put a small solar setup into the shed. So what we did is we actually have an outlet and um, yeah, an outlet coming out of the shed and we have an inlet going into the greenhouse. So if we need to run power for like a heater, which we had to do at the beginning of February, then we can just use it to go ahead and power like a small heater or a fan or something to like to that effect. Okay, let's go ahead and talk foundation. Um, so in North Texas, we don't really get like 
crazy massive weather all throughout the year. We don't get hurricanes, but we do get pretty good wind gusts. So I wanted to make sure the greenhouse was on a good level surface and it was secure enough to where I didn't have to worry about those storm wind storms taking this whole thing out. Hi, Amy. Um, okay, so what we did, it's a basic four x four foundation. And though uh, normally you shoot the rebar straight through the four x four, I decided in this case, just to go ahead and set up the four x four foundation or set up the four x four and then do an eyelet on it and knock in some 10 st stakes into the uh, ground. Um, they are angled. <laughs> they are angled straight into the ground underneath, so it should provide enough support for this greenhouse not to go anywhere. And I point out that my dogs do not like me taking video, taking attention away from them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for the flooring, we didn't do anything special. It's just uh, we put wheat fabric tarp on the bottom of it, and then did. A layer of sand underneath. We did a layer of sand and then the uh, paving stones and then filled in the gaps with just gravel. It looks nice and it'll be easy enough to clean up um, when the first growing season is over. On the other side here what we have planned to do is go ahead and trellis up our cucumbers. Um, so I bought these simple flower hooks off Amazon and we'll have two pots for cucumbers and we'll just train them up some rope to go ahead and uh, give us vertical um, growing space here again. And then hopefully we'll get a good chunk of cucumbers out of that too. So <laughs> I hope her breathing isn't getting in the way here. All right. So just to kind of quick recap, um, so this is the artistry Costco cedar greenhouse. Um, overall, it's a beautiful little greenhouse. It's not very big and we didn't buy it because it was big. Uh, we just kind of bought it as a more of a place to look nice in the gar greenhouse or in the garden and to go ahead and set us up for, or give us a space to go ahead and do some of the gardenish type work. Um, what do I think of the greenhouse? Again, it's a beautiful greenhouse. The instructions for it were very clear. I put probably about 90% of it together myself. Um, I needed Amy's help when it came to the roof. Um, outside of that, there's a few things I wish they would have done a little different. Um, the, the ventilation especially. I'm, I'm just a little surprised that there wasn't better protection against um, the doors breaking, the hinges breaking. Um, or at least instructions covering to make sure that you have something in place for wind. Um, outside of that, the greenhouse is great. We are just now starting in the season, so there isn't much to see in the same, in the sense of lushness and all of that. So I'll make sure to have that for you guys, probably, um, another update here in about a month or two when things start going crazy. You want to say hi to the camera? No. All right. And uh, well, thank you guys so much for uh, watching the video. If you found value in this, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I uh, will see you guys next time.